All right, good morning, everybody. I hope all of you have been doing well and keeping safe and staying healthy. That's what's important in these times. All right, so today, oh my goodness. Wow, look at this guy. On a red light, just braking, making this guy here brake really hard to get into that lane. Not cool. Anyway, okay, let's get back on topic. All right, so today we are gonna be doing boat stuff. I don't know if you guys have seen it in the past videos or not, but I have a second motor for the boat. So I'm doing this intro here in the truck as I'm driving over to the boat because the wind is absolutely crazy right now. And I know that if I try to do my intro at the boat, you're gonna be getting some kind of crazy wind noise. So what I ended up getting on a certain online marketplace, a 60 horsepower Mercury motor. Uh, really happy about this one. Okay, so what I really liked about this one is one, it's a mercury. Uh, two, it's oil injected. So I don't need to pre-mix the oil into the gas tanks. Um, so now, from now on, the gas tanks in the in the boat tanks are gonna be straight gas. So I'm really happy about that. And on top of it, it's a very well-known manufacturer and it's still around and it's still producing motors and parts. Awesome. Hopefully, it's gonna go smooth. So, uh, again, as I said, I've never done this before, so let's do it. Now, this is not gonna be a how to video. This is more like this is how I'm doing it, whether it may be a fail or, or a win. Only the future will be able to tell us. So, with that said, I'll see you guys over at the boat. That's the Mercury 60 horsepower motor. Really stoked to get that on. All right, so as you can see, I actually got everything out. It was super simple. Again, sorry about the noise. The wind's going crazy in this tent. So there was one screw right there, uh, another screw there, 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 uh, there, and at the front. Uh, then there was four screws uh, holding this up against the board. Man, the guy who installed this before did a hack job. I'm actually really disappointed. Uh, every time I'm working on a vehicle, working on uh, on this boat, and seeing these so-called professionals uh, and doing work on on these vehicles, it's just all half-assed work, and I'm really, really disappointed. Yeah. All right, so that is all taken out. Um, I cut off all the zip ties that are along in here holding these cables. So now what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna feed that through the hole and take this board right out. While I'm in here and I have everything taken apart, my transducer cable that I have right here, I can actually tuck up inside and actually neaten, tidy up some of these wires in here, make it look nice and at least half decent anyways. All right, so as we keep on going. All right, so I have that whole entire panel pulled out and now it's just trying to get all these cables out. Now this big thick one here is actually the power cable. These two are small ones are the throttle and gear selectors. So I'm gonna go in here, uh, disable and take out the gear selectors. And then also, I gotta come over here, I'm gonna take a picture of all this, so that way I can disconnect the power cable. And uh, we're almost holding free. And then I, oh yeah, then I have to, have to take off the, the steering cable, the steering nut, uh, what else? Uh, that's about it. Oh, disconnect the battery too. And then that's it. So far so good, it's going pretty good. All right, so here's an update. The boat, the boat. <laughs> All right, here's an update. So I disconnected the power lines. I also disconnected the throttle and gear selector. I'll pull that all out. As you can see, everything is disconnected. The only thing that I need to disconnect is the battery and the fuel line. Uh, I pulled this out, the nut for the steering. I tried sliding it out, but it's actually not working. Um, it's too tight in here, so I'll, I'll leave that undone. Once we lift the, once I get the motor off, we can slide the motor out that way and the, that linkage bar or the steering bar there will slide right out. Uh, so what I've been doing for the last maybe 10, 15 minutes is been tightening up all these wires. I know over here doesn't look so bad, but if we look over here, that looks so much better and so cleaner. So I just have to cut, cut these uh, zip ties, the excess zip ties. Over there underneath, there is a spot for one of these type of zip ties. So I'll do that and screw the, that part to the, to the inside. So I'll be on late. 
tight and neat. Uh, this is actually speaker wire, runs up to the front. I'll leave that as is, just in case if I wanna put any speakers up front. As for this piece here, I am gonna take it home. I'm gonna see if I can salvage this, see if I can fix this, cause this is too wobbly. But if this wood is like totally garbage, then I will re be replacing it with this three quarter inch plywood that I have left over. All right, so I'm working on this 60 horsepower Mercury motor. Now what was happening was the motor was actually tilting down, but it wasn't tilting up. So what I did was <clears throat> took these two uh, cables right here that go straight into the, the pump. Uh, and then I just went straight to my booster pack, put the negative on this side, positive on this side, the motor, I can't remember if it went down or up, but it moved and then I reversed it. I put the positive here and the negative there, and then I went the opposite way. So that's a good indication that the pump still works. Uh, so I put everything back together, added to the power cable there and the negative here. I took all this out. It was actually set right inside here. And, um, and then I just added the negative right here. So here's the two ground cables from the solenoids. Uh, so again, it was only going up, it wasn't coming down. So what I decided to do was to reverse these cables here and then it only went down, it didn't go up. So that's a good indication that the solenoid or the relay, sorry, I keep calling it a solenoid. It's not a solenoid, it's a relay, that the relay is bad. Now these are like special mercury type relays. So I took my old relay from the force motor and I tried it in there and it started working. I thought the whole unit inside here actually looked like, just look like this and look like this and then it would go inside this cap and this is what keeps it dry. Yeah, no, that's not how Mercury did it. It's actually, this is the casing with the guts of this. So what I did was I pulled, this was the one that's actually out of here. So I pulled this unit out of this casing, pulled the unit out of this casing, and then put the unit in there, and here's now the bad relay. And now, watch this. So, we got up, we got down. We got up, we got down. Yeah. So I'm really stoked about this, so that is good. I have to put all this back together. Uh, I am gonna get this part out. I should have a couple of these anyways. It's always good, you know, just in case if one of these relays go out while I'm on the water and I don't want to be stranded with not being able to lift the motor up and down. So I am going to do that. And then I also have to get another one. I do have another one somewhere for the force motor because uh, I did I did steal it from here. Uh, my daughter is over here giving me a hand. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so as we keep on going. All right, as you can see, we actually took out the lower unit out. Uh, the reason for that is when we put it in, the motor started up, sounded so beautiful, so beautiful, uh, except for not pumping water. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna change the, the impeller. Uh, so that's what we're doing right now. Took everything right out. I actually did get uh, a, a gasket kit for the force motor because the lower unit is actually very similar to this one. The force motor gasket kit is gonna be working for this one. As you can see right here, this is the old impeller that's been sitting in the same position for the last five years. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I have a new impeller, and this one again is from the force motor, but it's gonna work, and I'm super stoked about it. So let's get this on, put this back on, and start up the motor again. This is gonna be awesome. All right, so sorry about the abrupt ending over there. The batteries in my camera actually died and I didn't have any extras. So I'm just gonna catch you guys up on to what, what we did. We did replace the impeller. The motor actually started working fine. Uh, so it was uh, pumping water. I can't get over how well this motor actually sounds. Uh, it sounds really good, really healthy. Uh, so for the next thing to do is actually put the boat in the water and see how it performs. I'm not gonna be doing that uh, soon, uh, maybe next weekend. Anyways, I got a, a fishing trip coming up that I'm gonna be go going out with my buddy. I don't wanna go in the water on my own, just in case if something does happen and yeah, I don't wanna be stuck out in there. So uh, my buddy's gonna come with me, we're gonna go fishing, uh, make a day of it, you know what I mean? Uh, see how the motor performs and that's it. All right, well guys, ho I hope you enjoyed the video. Until the next time, who knows, maybe we'll see you out there. Stay safe.